Hello guys, it's Claymore here and welcome back to the channel. We just got the patch notes for patch 1.5.0 dropped. I'm not read any yet, but judging from chat's immediate reactions to it, spoiler free of course, it's a big one. Uh, so, very excited to read these through. Let's go without further ado, let's read for it. Uh, Psycho Frontier, patch 1.5.0. We have an update that will tackle a handful of issues directly affecting our players. We'll also make a fair amount of internal changes that shouldn't affect the players directly. This will also be the first iteration of victim compensation. A system that will refund players of items or loadouts that have been lost due to interactions with cheaters. With that said, let's take a look at what this new patch brings to the game. We're getting we're getting cheater compensation. I this is way earlier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm very happy with this. All right. Victim compensation has been added to the game and will now begin to refund players their items if the person who killed them gets banned for cheating. Because this is a brand new system, there are some limitations. Currently, this system is in place for cheaters who are banned by our own internal system and not currently set up for battle as automatic banned. This will be addressed in an upcoming update. So we're getting the uh, essentially half the functionality of it now, uh, and then the half later on, that's fine. The victim compensation system is automatic and reporting players is not required for the system to function. You will receive compensation packages regardless of whether or not you were the one who reported the cheater. Similarly to insurance packages, players will be notified if they have a victim compensation package waiting for them at the generator. So, I'm, I think reporting is still going to help. So don't press this up, chat. Reporting is still going to help a lot. But, you'll know if, you, if the reports you uh, are giving in, you know if they are successful, because then once you report them and you get a loadout back from the same guy, from the same loadout, you'll know they got it banned. So, you get your loadout back, you know you've helped the system, everybody wins. The system will return the most valuable items to the player and convert, it, convert lesser value items to its KMAC equivalent. Cool, so isn't it, you're not going to just get select items back. You, you're going to get things back in accordance, and maybe the uh, the, stim, the stims or grenades and ammo and stuff like that, the equivalent of that back. I really like that. I was only really actually expecting the gear itself to be uh, compensated, but I'm happy with that. A small note has been added to the in-game report tool in grass the compensation of loadouts. Cool, thank you very much for that. I'm very happy we're getting victim compensation. I'm very happy. Thank you so much, Jager. This is going to take the edge off losing my exotics to cheaters. A grenade reduced damage by 20%. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Remove direct offer to leave tutorial in tutorial death UI box. Fair enough. Additional adjustments have been made to our anti-cheat system to prevent false positives in certain areas. Cool. Yeah, there were some false bans recently, so yeah. Uh, nades are no longer as strong. They're now used mostly just to either chunk or force people out of cover, which is ideally what they should be for. So thank you very much for that, Jaeger. The login bonus screen now includes information regarding the season's end and wipe. Nice. A price increase is on its way to the upcoming 1.6 update for deal season or in certain regions in order to adjust the prices for affected markets, which were far more discounted than originally intended. Players using the affected currencies will have one week to purchase these at the current price they would like to. Okay, so that's fair. Regional pricing is a thing. Um, and even if you haven't picked it up yet, you can take advantage of that and still pick it up after a week after this patch. It's pretty good. Uh, this equipment also will affect the following currencies. Go ahead, guys. Check it out if you're affected there. Either way. Uh, fix an issue where players were not able to start trio squad matches if their MVR was too high. I did hear about this bug. God, they fixed it. Fix an issue where contract progress was lost when the game is falsely closed or when using exercisation to return during the match. Fair enough. Login bonus UI remaining days in the season will not display as intended. Fix an exploit that allow players to kill players almost instantly over long distances with the mining tool. Oh my goodness. The, the pickaxe man evolved briefly to the mining tool man. And that is it. That is everything we've gotten. But this is huge. We've got another nade nerf. And we've got the victim compensation system. I am really, really happy about this. I was honestly expecting this to come maybe a bit closer to the end of season one. But I am just, I'm, I'm just so, 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 so happy about this. I'm so, so happy about this. It's not going to fix the problem. The, the, the victim compensation system was never intended to solve the problem of cheaters. But it takes the edge, it takes the edge off and it gives you a little bit of faith back in Jaeger. And they're looking after us. They know that there's an issue. They're working on it. But in the meantime, they'll look after us by doing this. And that's it, guys. That's it. Uh, great patch notes. I'm very much looking forward to seeing the first iteration of Victim Conversation. If you guys enjoy these patch notes, let me know what you think about them down below in the comments. And of course, as always, don't forget to like. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. In the meantime, I will see you on the next video, which will be a PvP highlight. So don't forget, don't, go, don't forget to check that out. Either way, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, love you all. And peace.